Hello there, so I'm going to go through the acoustic riff that I play with Claudia and Alyssa on one of our recordings that we did together beforehand. We never did the performance, but I can show the uh, <clears throat> I can show the chord sequence of the song quite nicely. Um, <clears throat> So that's the uh, the essential riff and chord sequence of the majority of the song anyway. And it doesn't change as such. The only thing that changes is the tonality of the guitar part itself. Um, so if it was up to me, if I could do it in a performance in one session, I would use the acoustic that I've got here for that part that I just played, and then a electric guitar on a distortion setting for the second part of the riff, which is the same thing but played with power chords. And the reason behind that is I wanted to get a bit of a dynamic lift towards the end of the song. Um, in the session that we did, we did two vocal parts um, in separate verses over the same chord sequence and looped it and slowly developed more parts for the song as it went on. Um, so in the first section we played mostly acoustic guitar with a tiny bit of harp and have Claudia sing over it with her set of lyrics. And then in the second half I did my set of lyrics and in the third part we did call and response vocals where I also sing my part behind Claudia's part as well. And that is also when the distorted guitar drops in the song and Alyssa also switched over to the whistle for that section, which is interesting. Because we thought that the electric guitar would drown out the whistle, but it didn't because of our use of microphones. We used a condenser on the whistle um, to bring it out, and it was also a small diaphragm with just one direction. So it didn't pick up the electric guitar, which we purposely placed on the other side of the room, the amp. So it didn't pick up in the sound of the whistle and drown it out completely in the mix. As for the vocal sequence, I can also give a demonstration of my part of the vocal sequence for the for what the performance would have been if we were to record it and play it together. So <clears throat> this is what I came up with and I will play it with the acoustic as well. Kingdom has fallen with no battles born. Chaos disorders falls the throne. Kingdom will perish with no one to rule over. So through my ashes now falls the throne. So those are the lyrics for the song. And I'll write those out in uh, written format as well, um, so that the evidence is there also. Um, but I approach it in a way of which I I want my my timbre of my voice to be quite high end, even full my low. So I want it to be quite bright sounding. So I deliberately lift my palette up at the back, so it becomes like this as opposed to like this, you know, um, to set the mood of the song in that way. I also tend to use quite a lot of vibrato and skittato based techniques to add a bit of a like a bit of a wavering sort of thing. It's almost uh, it, it's inspired by Middle Eastern sort of vocals, but it's the idea is it's um, it almost sounds medieval in a way, along with the guitar, which is supposed to sound quite medieval as well. Um, 
especially when it's, it's just the phrasing of the uh, the note rhythm patterns as well on the acoustic guitar makes it sound quite medieval sounding anyway so that is why I do that generally with this riff uh, along with the harp and the flute it gives it a very folky feel to it as well which uh, works extremely well for the theme of the song too the lyrics being mostly based around a mad king who didn't rule his kingdom right and ended up bringing basically death to the land and just his lands are empty and the, the lyrics that say kingdom has fallen no battles for chaos disorder so fall the throne it's uh <clears throat> with no one to rule over. Um, it's all it's all about the king ruling over a kingdom, but you can't rule over a kingdom if there isn't any people left in the kingdom to rule. So it's defeating the whole purpose of him being a king and reigning over something because he doesn't reign over anything. All he has is land. That is the concept of the song, and that is my overall analysis of the song that we came up with so thank you for that